Vision is what we see, but it's also the way in which we see. Vision is the lens that interprets the events of our life, the way we view people, and our concept of God. For example, if we have a scratched lens, on one side is scratched, the other side is clear, obviously our vision is impaired. Because Jesus said that our eyes are the windows of our heart. Paul prayed that, our, Paul prayed that eyes of our heart will be enlightened. So in other words, we receive our eyes, but we see with our hearts. Our minds, our minds receive images from our eyes, but our hearts interpret these images. If our heart becomes bitter, jealous, sorry, hurts, or in some way infected, the lens of our heart is distorted. What we perceive is happening, and what is really going on could be two, dif two different things. So Jesus said, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That is John 8, 32, King James Version. The word truth here means reality. So Jesus is saying that you will understand what is real, and that you will be free by that truth. The first part of accomplishing any vision is to take it from the unseen world and bring it into the natural realm. It says in Habakkuk 2, 2 to 3, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth, he, he may run that readeth it, for the vision is yet um, for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. The next step is to create a plan to accomplish this mission. The Bible says, without counsel, purpose and dis purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. That's Proverbs 15, 22. The preparations, they also say the preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. That's Proverbs 16, 1. So for these two verses, we see that although the vision must be from God himself, men are to help develop the plan that brings about the fulfillment of the vision. So after the plan is established, goals must be set. The Bible says, I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. That's Philippians 3, 14. So those are simply the vision broken down into smaller pieces that are measurable in time and space. So the final stage of seeing, in, seeing um, the mission accomplished is establishing your steps. Proverbs says, the mind of man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Mm -hmm. So when your vision is honestly birthed by God himself, he will be delighted to direct your steps. Amen. Amen.